man, before I hop into it, if y'all peep the last video, I had spelled form and park wrong. It's F O R E M A N, not F O R M A N. This nigga Duda spelled it wrong in the script. I don't know what's wrong with him. He been tripping lately. Duda was all messed up in the head after seeing his brother Mike get popped in front of the China store like that. And his big cousin Pee Wee died at the scene. Man, that made it even worse. Then days later, this dude named Cortez from Glenwood Ave got killed taking out the garbage. All over the news. Good kid gunned down an alley. But he wasn't no ordinary kid though. Dude was a full star football recruit that went to Claremont High. All type of D1 offers. He was just about to announce his commitment to USC that next week. It was hella hot in Foreman Park. Three murders in three days? And the police knew what was up. So they was out asking questions all around the hood. They went door to door. They even tried to talk to Duda. But he know better to stay stitched lip. That boy from New Orleans, so you know what he on. Ratting like it's in style, like it's legal or something. You can't all that ratting. The rats in the dead, New Orleans. But even if he wanted to talk, he couldn't. This man was spooked, bro. He wouldn't talk, eat, sleep, or nothing for days. I mean, he lost his big cousin right in front of his face and his brother in the hospital fighting for his life right now. All he could do was think about how his auntie and cousin B was holding up. Brian just lost his big brother. Now it's just him and his moms, making him the man of the house now. At the funeral, them boys was all just standing there looking stupid with them Steve Harvey looking at suits, looking at Pee Wee Casket in the ground. And Brian could only say one thing as he stood there and watched. I'm gonna make these niggas feel less for son. B was going through it, but Duda had a lot going on at home himself. His suspension went from five days to two weeks after parents was concerned the fight was gang related and seeing the increase in murders. And Mike had to go through an intense surgery. Doctor saying the way he got hit, he might never be the same and he needs a lot of treatment and therapy to fully recover. All of that gonna cost. Moms and pops ain't even able to pay the real bills. With the best buying a janitor check? <laughs> Man, come on. Duda was the only kid left in the house. He knew what he was gonna have to do. It's time to step up. Say wrong. What's down? It's Blue Play. Like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. You know to subscribe to Risky Rod slash Rod's Daily. L kill shot leaders Belius. We out just serving them weenies. Out just slinging them glizzies a dollar a pop. What's down? Who wants some? This nigga Duda got two dollars on him. At least the first Duda started off with 20. Nigga, God damn. Hey, my son Duda might be fed up right now. But at least he ain't get stood up by a bitch off Discord. I ain't saying no names. We ain't gonna get to saying no names. Nah. My dude Duda trying to get this bread for his family. And start cracking some of these shoobies. Oh, yeah. Shuby, that's my new word. Let's make that a word now. You could use it like this, for example. Man, I don't like that boy. He a whole Shuby. It's like he weird, lame, pussy if need be. But it could also be used as a slang for females. I, I probably don't make no sense right now, but that's what I'm on, nigga. L let's make this a thing. Man, what a Shuby's at? My dog trying to get his wee wee -wee wet. Y'all see, we got dogs, pretzels, cold drinks, and yeah, that's what we call it in New Orleans. Not no soda, not no pop. And we got nuts, nigga. I gotta cook all the inventory of meadery I got in here. Now, y'all might be wondering how he even got a whole hot dog stand. It's not his. He working for somebody. So whatever he make today, he get like a little small amount of that. This dude behind me been selling crack all day, and this nigga business is booming. Wanda, come f*** with your boy. I got Frank's. Pure weenies. Nobody want this shit, bro. Okay, we got our first customer. She ordered a pure glizzy. That's a quick little $5. LaShawda just spent a block like a fidget spinner. Came back and ordered a hot sausage and a water. Six dollar play. Oh, look, one of the crackheads got hungry. Wardell said he want a hot dog, pretzel, and a cold drink. Easy money. Oh, look, we got another one. We got another one. Felipe wants some sausage and nuts. Hey, yo. Felipe, you want some shoeby shit? Nigga. Look, I used it in a sentence. <laughs> Six quick bucks for that questionable ass meal. Ooh, look at this bitch. I know she finna spend some money with me. Say, big mama, I'll sell you the whole cart at a good price, bitch. Make her offer. She don't even know my son Duda in the big ebony mill. She wants sausage and nuts. Oh, yeah, she wanna fuck. <laughs> put that pussy on me. Put it on me. Oh, look, she running. Sheila, come here, bitch. You dropped your food. Shaky Maddie ordered a hot sausage on bun, pretzel, and a water. We got $47.50. And we been out here for two hours. We out shut down bad. Rich glizzing it. He trying to do this shit the right way, bruh. 
But 47 smackaroons is ridiculous. He only gonna get like $10 out of that. Let me ask dude how much he made today. Say, brother, how much money you made today? Bitch, you been going crazy behind me this whole time. Try a quick 800 in one day. This shit is a hundred a pop. Only niggas with real dough fuck with this. Yeah, I right, Calvin. Say less. I'm trying to get a. Oh, shit. Hold up. That boy Troy calling me. Yeah, hello? Yo, where you at, little bitch? I'm outside working. What's that? Man, whatever you doing, drop that shit ASAP. Reezy having a meeting over by the co wash, and he talking about putting niggas on. Shit, slide right now. So we gonna go ahead and go to the meeting. It's at Virgil Uncle Car Wash. Let's see what they talking about. Got a quick little cardio in. Kinda nervous. They got a hobo out here doing security. They tore up. Hey yo, my man, what you doing over here? I'm here for the meeting. Oh, I ain't. You not wearing a wire or anything, Spanky. What's your name? Man, no. Spicy oven mitt head ass. My name Duda. What's your name is? You can call me Clever Cleo. He say his name Duda. Okay, all right. All right, you good to go, man. Damn, son. Hey, clean yourself off, Frankie. You smell like weenies. Here right now, that means you want to be a part of something, a family, a brotherhood. Clover Street been on some neutral shit for years, but that shit is over now. Niggas is out here killing our people thinking shit is sweet, and I know a lot of y'all. Right here, it's Reezy, real Clover Street OG. And guess who uncle this is, y'all? Y'all ain't even gonna believe this. Virgil. Lil' nerdy ass Virgil is related to this man crazy but as y'all can see that nigga Reezy was fed up after that fight at school Virgil called his uncle Reezy and Reezy called a meeting with Baker Street's OG Big Wack and Wack was telling Reezy that that neutral shit wasn't gonna fly no more after the loss of T-Red who was Wack's oldest son Clover Street was either riding with them or the Jacktown Gangsta Crips who they thought was responsible for killing T-Red that's why Deshaun pressed Virgil at school it was to send a message Reezy wasn't going for none of that. He'd been in the streets for years without banging colors. His name held weight on his own, but this was a new day. So after that meeting, the Bloods was looking for somebody from Clover Street or Glenwood to make an example. And that example ended up being Pee Wee, Cortez, and Mike. Clover Street from now on, we on our own shit. We ain't rocking with blue flags, and we damn sure ain't rocking with red flags. We calling this shit Clover Gangster Foes, CGF, Clover and Glenwood families. If you want to get put on and change your life, little niggas, we'll be over there in Sunnyvale Gardens later tonight. So make the right decision. I'm done talking. So y'all heard the Reezy Reese speech? Clover Street is forming its own game. I just got back to the block and shit already got shaking out here. Oh no, dude getting funky in this bitch on biscuit. Let me duck my taco behind this miscellaneous box on the sidewalk. Cause Jorge getting busy with the chop. Let me go ahead and get the safety. So Reezy said he's starting his own game called the Clover Street Foes. It makes sense cause we on the 4400 block. And the Clover got four leaves. That's some clever shit right there. I wonder who wrote that. He said it's a brotherhood. But Duda don't need no fucking brothers, bruh. He got his crew. Plus his soccer ball flat as hell. Cause he don't kick it with niggas at all. Duda really thinking about joining that gang, bro. He just really don't know. So I'ma let y'all help. So let me know in the comments. Do he join the new gang and miss the new war? Or do he just stay to himself and you know what I'm saying? Do his thing. Y'all go crazy. We finally made it home. He finna chill out for a little minute. I'ma catch y'all later. Young Duda got a decision to make. Do he go the good route and find a better job so he could help out the family? Or do he hop in them streets and get busy? He just sat in his room and tried to think all this shit out. But he couldn't focus because his pops was in the other room rapping. The crazy part is, Duda had no clue what was about to happen. Yeah. I am Jamaican, I eat a lot of bacon. I wake up in the morning and play my PlayStation. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, God, my cloud, you heard me. No, not the watch. Oh, no, not my Fubu trench coat. No, everybody get down. Dude, are you okay? 
Duda, are you okay? Are you okay, Duda? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, shit, ma. Yo, Maz is bleeding, man. Say, man, call 911. Oh, no, not my wife. No, Bamba Clot. Yo, B. What? What's up? Man, them niggas just shot my house up, bro. Man, what? One of them bullets hit mom in the leg, bro. I'm about to be on some real murder shit, B. Nigga killed your brother. Nigga shot my brother. And now nigga just shot my fucking moms, man. A nigga gotta die in the next 15 minutes. That's how I'm coming. Look, calm your ass down, son. I've been working on a little something. I'ma crop niggas out the picture before the sun come up, and that's a promise. I really got murder on my mind, for real, son. Man, where you at? Let me slide with you. Nah, brother, that ain't true. Pee Wee always told me keep you out this shit. He will not want you out here standing on business like we do. I'ma take care of it. Hello? B. We back with that boy B, and my dog ready to smoke shit. Out here with this Ruger, trying to split a nigga away. Catch him cooling in the car, catch him coming out the crib, you hear me? Raw shit, you can't even go to Jasmine's for no crawfish. We gotta go get us a La Hottie and then go catch us a La Body. on biscuit, nigga! Man, let me cross the street before he get beaten, sprinkled with crack. Damn, man, why you running like that? Bitch, calm down! That boy a whole psycho. He was about to run head first into my dude Fidencio. Hola, my bad, brother. Okay, look at y'all, so this the first bitch we found. Brown is dirty and black. I don't know what this is. It's stillable, nigga. Fuck it. Oh, never mind. Look at the police. They patrolling and they trying to catch me riding dirty. We out to this little alley. Let me duck down so they don't see me. Playing stealthy is healthy. Cha cha. Watch out, gotcha. Oh, yeah, we out this bitch. Oh, no. This car tore up. They say we got 15% of gas left. So we got to be real careful when we doing this shit. Well, goddamn. Where you going, Carlos? I need to drive to a little decent spot so I could tell y'all who this target is for this episode. So get your popcorn ready, guys, because it's about to get real spicy. Pulling to this gas station. No Nobody here. All right, let me pull out the phone and show y'all what we got. So the dude name is Rosemo Capone. He a real love member in the Bigger Street organization. He rap and do hood vlogs on YouTube and shit. And he posted a recent video and he said, quote, fuck Jacktown and Clover Street. We're smoking on Pee Wee Pack. That boy gotta go. He drive a purple Camaro, as you can see in the vlog. And that boy B been lurking his channel for days. So now that I showed y'all that, we finna go ahead and go on his main block where they be at. Hold on, that look like a Camaro, huh? I can't tell if that's purple or blue. Man, I think that's him, fuck it, we on it. Pull up right here, I'm trying to be real discreet. I want y'all to know this, different characters will have different styles on how they kill people. Pay attention to that in the future. Oh, look, he got out the car. Let's play stealthy right quick and see if this the right dude. That's definitely a Cadero, I mean, a uh, Camaro though. Oh yeah, I think that's him. B, bitch, you should just order his noodle right here, son. Oh shit, he coming back. We gotta hide. I hope that boy ain't see us, bro. Oh my god. Bro, I really feel like I'm doing a real drill. Come on, y'all. We gotta get back to the whip before we fuck around and lose that boy. Man, this nigga beat and lost him, son. We been riding around and we still can't find that little bitch, man. Hey, I, I guess it's just his lucky day, bitch. We finna go back to the crib. Wait, hold up. There go that bar right there. And yeah, bitch, that's a hundred percent purple, son. That's for show him. We finna try to catch that boy on the other side. Fuck him up. I hope he's still over there, son. I ain't trying to fail this mission. Creep through the bushes trying to push a nigga shit back. And he just got out the whip, too. All right, fuck it. We can get him right here. But the nigga on front street and B don't want to do it like that. He too tactical. It looked like the traffic getting dry right now. I think we could just fuck around and dome check him right now. Oh, he done walked off. All right, get up. We could just play it off and act normal like we just walking. Bro, this a real mission. Type W vid in the chat if you enjoying this, because I know for sure I am. Go ahead, bitch. Pull that bitch out, man. Get ready. Oh, yeah. Come here, bitch. He looks very sick. That's good, bitch. These bullets is Ebola. I'm giving you these wings early. Job done. We out of here. Oh, we got company. Them boys came out dumping fully rose mode. Oh, my son got hit in the leg, son. Man, we got to get out of there. Oh, man. Man, we got one on the board. Type Rosie pack in the comments, man. We finna make that shit glow. Yeah, my son be really torture shit. Damn, nigga done crashed in the target carts. It's cool, though. He gonna get better as he go. First kill fully B. In the comments, I need y'all to keep stats on each character kills. I'm finna make this shit fun. Now we gotta get rid of this car. On 12% gas. I think that boy just interrupted an underground Latino nene contest. We finna get up out of here. Body number one for Clover Street. More on the way, man. Let me know down in the comments if y'all enjoyed this part of the video. I know I did. We out of here.
It's looking like Duda and everyone around him becoming a target after that fight at school. Big Whack was sending niggas to touch whoever wasn't with them, especially Jack Town. Now a neutral neighborhood they made up a game? Yeah, Foreman Park about to be dangerous. How's she holding up, Doc? She's gonna be okay. It looks like it's only a flesh wound, so that's a good thing. We just want to make sure it's not an infection or anything. But while we were running tests on her blood, we found out that she is, um... She's pregnant. Damn. Bro got a little brother or sister on the way now. He definitely gonna have to make a move soon. What's gonna happen next? Stay tuned. Next one coming soon. Oh, I think I'm cold with these fucking cliffhangers, man. Uh, listen, she got these kind of lights. Got so much pain inside my heart that I can't sleep at night. But I'm gonna be alright, baby. Just let me reminisce. Who was there for me was Spotty P. Ain't